What does an onion have to do with an apple? Why are you crying, Ari? It's only a riddle. I'm not crying because I don't know the answer. I'm crying because I'm chopping this onion. Whew. Yeah, I can smell it from all the way over here. Really? How? When you cut things like onions, teensy tiny bits of food float up into your nose and stick to special sensors in the back of your nose. These sensors figure out what is stuck to them and then send a message to your brain telling you what you're smelling. Mmm, fresh baked bread. That smell makes me hungry. Wait, does that mean tiny pieces of bread are floating up my nose? Sure does, and those food smells can make your mouth water and make you hungry. But a good sense of smell is even more important for other animals who need to hunt their food before they can eat. Let's play who's got the best sniffer. Can you guess which one of these super sniffers has the best sense of smell? A coyote, a bear, or an opossum? The black bear. Black bears can smell food 28 kilometers away. Just like a black bear, our noses lead us to great smelling food. Mmm, -hmm. smells delicious. Try some. Mmm, oh, it's so spicy. Oh, spicy. Spicy. My tongue is on fire. Oh, oh. Still smells good though. As you chew food, it gets on your tongue. Like in your nose, the tongue has special sensors which help you taste what you're eating. But your tongue is only part of the picture. You taste it with your eyes, too. I'm not sure why I volunteered for this. I can't see or smell the food that he's eating. Let's see if he can figure out what food he's eating with only his tongue. Um. That's hard. I can't taste much. Maybe an apple. Very good. Now try this one. Um, I don't know. Kind of just tastes the same. Is it another apple? A pear, maybe? It was an onion. An onion? Without my eyes and nose, that did not taste like an onion. <laughs> You're right, Potato. That is the answer to our riddle. What does an onion have to do with an apple? They actually both taste the same if you don't use your eyes and nose. And now, a rapid fire taste test. Test. What part of their body does a butterfly taste with? Their feet. What part of their body does an octopus taste with? Their suckers. And how about an earthworm? with their whole body. Earthworms are truly amazing. They have no arms, no legs, no eyes, no ears, no nose, but they can move, sense light and dark, feel vibrations, and even taste. They do that by using tiny receptors covering their entire body. They can eat their way through soil, decaying leaves, grass, and other things. Some types of earthworms, like the red wiggler, are excellent recyclers. They eat food scraps and paper and poop out super rich soil. Natural composters, amazing! Challenge time! We challenge you to follow your nose and go on a smell hunt. Get outside, go for a walk, and use your nose as a guide. How many smells can you find? You can tear leaves, bark, even pine needles to make the smell stronger. Even soil has different smells. Hmm, this handful smells like something is rotting in it. That might be the work of worms. Test to see if you and your friends are smelling the same thing. Ready? One, two, three. Lunch! For lots of other fun and games and riddles, visit, visit clearwaterkids.org. Clearwater Challenge yourself to connect to nature and build a healthier world for yourself, for the earth, and for potato.